Hello, hello, welcome everyone. Good morning. Bagi dengar tu, kau ni kau. Hello. Okay, boleh dengar eh? Kau ni kau Okay, so we proceed with uh, our lesson next uh, last week is regarding uh, accounting equation. So I already give you exercise, right? Okay, so uh, semua dah buat ke belum soalan? Dah try buat? Ada yang tak buat? Ish. Oh, tiga soalan. Dari keseluruhan, tiga soalan dia tak, tak tahu kan? Eh? Okay, never mind. Let's discuss. Siti Anissa, Nurman Syarah, Syamin, Atikam, semua buat? Try. Ada try tak? Okay. Alright. So, very good. So let's look at the question and then we discuss exercise regarding equation, accounting equation. Okay, number one, uh, kita dah buat kan? Equation number one. Ke belum? So bagi soalan ni kan? Kelas. Saya ada share, you ada nampak tak? Yang saya share. Betul ke soalan ni? Ah, yang dekat sini. Betul tak? Nampak tak? Selain. Okey, betul kan? Betul tak soalan ni? Saya tak ingat. Ini ah, okey. So nombor dua eh? Kan nombor dua kan soalan? Betul? Soalan lain, soalan lain. Eh, saya bagi soalan mana ya? <laughs> Bukan yang ni? Haa, kita ambil. Haa? Bukan yang ni? Di mana ya? Kita hmm. ingat lah Which one? Soalan oh. Because kita baru topik 3 right? The county equation So I give you the story Sama. Eh, sama kan? <laughs> ke uh, ke uh, yang awak nampak tu lain eh? Awak nampak PowerPoint ke? Ah. Oh, awak nampak tu PowerPoint. Oh, sekejap. Sekejap, sekejap. Saya buka set yang sama cuma saya Saya share tu benda yang lain je Wait, 
for a while. Okay. So, nampak ke? Okay, betul kan? Okay, kita dah buat soalan satu ke belum? Belum juga. Okay, let's discuss. Okay, number one. We have asset 66,000 and then liability 43,000. So, what is the amount of capital? Someone, you want to try? Was the game? 13,000. Betul? Yang lain? Betul ke? Alright, very good. So next, question number two. What is X? Asset, we have liability 7,300, capital net 16,900. So our asset is? Alright, twenty four thousand five hundred. Okay, number three. What is the amount of liability? One thousand and eighty ringgit. Okay, number four. Twelve thousand six hundred and fifty of liabilities. Of course, lah kita tambah, right? Six five four five. Add with six thousand seven hundred. You get one nine three five four. Is that correct? Alright. So number five. Nine thousand minus with one thousand seven hundred. Alah, senang kacang ni, nang sedikit dok tadika ni. We got 7,300. Okay, number two. Specify the effect upon asset liabilities and capital for the following transaction using the example. Okay. So, uh, let's look at number one. Okay. Brought 5,500 cash into the business. So, asset cash is increased and then also capital increase. So, number two, who wants to try? Brought goods 1,000 by check. Okay. Silakan. Uh huh. All right. Bank decrease. Very good. So in the same category that is asset. Okay. Very good. So the answer is correct. So number three brought a used van into the business was twenty five thousand. Someone you want to try? What is the answer? Atika? Please try to answer the question. Got a views van into the business worth 25,000. Use van. Siapa nak try? Ashila? Nelly? Siapa nak try? Asset van. Asset van increase. Okay, van increase. Alright. 
another one. Huh? Catch this face is wrong. Incorrect. The answer is increase in capital. Okay. Because of we brought a used van. It means that we have used van and then we brought into the business. When we start the business, we have used van. Okay. S and capital. Right, huh? So the answer is asset rent is increased, but another one is capital is increased. Okay, tak ada kena mengenai dengan cash. Sebab kita dah beli, uh, kita brought a used van, maksudnya kita bawa masuk, bukan kita bawa tu kita buy. Kita membawa masuk van tersebut ke dalam business. Then go to number one, we brought one five thousand five hundred cash. And okay, in this. For the first uh, tutorial, uh, uh, question number one, okay, we brought cash. But question number three, we brought, we we have a used van and then we brought into the business. Okay, because kita bawa dia ke dalam business tersebut. Okay, itu adalah capital. Right, class? Kalau dia kata buy van, baru dah kita akan decreasekan asset cash. Increase asset brand. Okay, kalau dia kata brought a used van into the business. Okay, if you have, if you found uh, paragraph yang menyatakan into, brought into the business. Okay, mesti dalam kepala, you mesti ingat capital. Apa-apa yang you mau bawa masuk untuk, uh, bawa masuk barang atau bawa masuk duit ke dalam business, itu adalah cash. Capital. Right? Understand? Class? Alright, number four. Siapa nak try? Alright, silakan. Huh? Alright, so asset become receivable, increase. Alright. Okay. Very good. The answer is correct. So stock decrease. Eh, stock decrease. So good, still handle to Mr. Chong on credit. Okay, betul-betul so lah. Daripada account receivable is increased, stock is decreased. Alright, very good. So, number five, about new stock on credit. Okay, kita beli barang secara hutang. So, apa yang uh, terlibat? Asset stock kita increase. Okay. Okay, kita beli secara hutang. Apa yang increase? Liability. Liability apa yang uh, bertambah? Account. Pay ya. Yeah. Alright, very good. Okay, number six. Paid supplier for the stock about earlier by check. Okay, so what is the effect? Okay, you try Uh, bayar supplier. Kita bayar semula, uh, bayar supplier yang kita dah hutang tadi. So, what is the effect to the asset? Is that new set? Mm -hmm. Alright, very good. Cash decrease. Another one. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. The answer is correct. Okay. So, our liability for account table is decreased. Okay, number seven. Debtor paid amount owing by check. Okay. 
other name for that girl is account receivable. So if account receivable paid us amount that she only owing to us by cheque, so what is the effect? Account receivable paid amount owing by cheque. For example, Mr. Chong. So, Mr. Chong is our account receivable paid money to us. So, what is the effect? Someone? Anybody? Want to check? Asset. Asset bank increase. Very good. The answer is correct. Another one? Another one? Yes, very good. Asset for account receivable is secrets. Okay, so that is the correct answer. Okay, kalau soalan jawapan kamu salah, so sila betulkan. Okay, the owner, number A, the owner took cash for his own use. Okay, owner took cash. For his own use. So what is the effect? Mm -hmm. Asset apa? Cash. Very good. Cash decrease. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. Okay. Honest equity kita berkurang. Okay. Number nine. Bought machineries by cash. Okay, this is a simple question. Bought machinery by cash. Eh, by check. So, asset machinery kita increase. Okay. Another one is bank decrease. Okay. A customer bought goods by cash. So, apa jawapan dia? Customer beli barang secara cash. Okay, we have increase in cash. What else? Our good inventory stock kita decrease. Okay, eleven purchase a set of new computer at. Cost two thousand ringgit. One thousand was paid by check, and the remainder will be paid on the next month. So, anybody wants to try? Which is a set of new computer? Two thousand. One thousand is paid by check, and remainder will be paid on the next month. So, what is the effect for asset? Liability or equity. Nelly? Alright. So, first thing first. We, if we produce a new computer, what is the effect to the asset? Alright. Increase in asset of computer. And then we pay by check. What is decrease? Bank, isn't it? Bank is decreased by one thousand. Okay. Decrease in bank. Another one is our liability is increased. Okay, because we have owing the another one thousand ringgit, right? Plus. Alright, okay. so we have increase in asset computer and decrease in asset of bank. But then our liability is increased account payable. Okay, so that's all for question number two. Okay, question number three also same. Okay, 
So, saya rasa kalau you dah nak mahir. So, which one in question number 3 that is very difficult for you to answer it. Okay, yang ini kita tak kita tak belajar lagi kan. Recent damage to check. Make credit sales of 4,000. Okay, so apa jawapan ni? Kalau kita beli, eh beli pula dah. Jual barang secara hutang kepada jangan rugi trading. So, efek dia kepada aset kita ada ke? Sebenarnya kita dekat sini tak ada belajar lagi sales ataupun revenue. Sebab ini adalah uh, kita baru belajar accounting equation. Okay, kita belum lagi belajar expanded accounting equation. So, dari saya contoh tiga ni ada yang dah buat ke? Macam kurang sesuai lah. Kita nak buat aku oh, tak perasan hari tu. Ada yang dah buat? Soalan ni lebih kepada ex, ex, uh, extension of accounting equation. Okay, kita akan masukkan amount revenue dan juga expenses dekat dalam dekat dalam kita punya equation. Ada yang dah buat? Ada yang dah buat? <laughs> tak mahu habis ke? Tak, ok tak apa. Yang tu kita biarkan dulu. Boleh? Okay, after kita dah belajar extended, baru kita buat extension of accounting equation. Okay, question number 4. You are required to show the effects and actions for each transaction as, as shown in the following example. Ok. Transaction is started, okay, for example, the transaction is started a business is putting 30,000 into a business bank account, so increase in asset, increase in owner's ETP. Okay, so, let's look at this here, okay, transaction June 3, June 3, bought office equipment on credit from Nova Trading, a month to 8. 8,000. So, what is the effect lah? Increase of Okay, siapa nak Sorry, jawab. jawab Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Increase in asset. What asset? Yes, yeah, very good. Next. What else? Lagi? Lagi jawapan dia apa? Yes, very good. Increase in liability. Okay, liability in terms of what? In terms of account variable. Okay. Okay, everyone, is that clear? Okay, we draw cash from the bank for office use worth 10,000. So, we drew cash. Okay, it means that our asset in bank is decreased. And then, asset, uh, asset in cash is increased. Okay, we drew cash. So, maknanya kita keluarkan duit tu, 2,000 dari bank. So, bank kita berkurang, so kita tambah dekat asset cash kita lah. Okay. Kita tambah sebanyak 10 ribu. Nombor 8, eh, Jun 8, purchase good on credit from Mona Enterprise worth 10,000. So, same goes to, uh, not June 3rd, we have 
increase in stock asset okay and then our liability is increased in terms of account payable Okay, June 10, so good to raise on credit amount to 3,000. Okay. So, stock decrease, increase in uh, account receivable asset. Okay, understand that? Do you have any questions? Alright. Okay. Owner put up cash and got present for doctors to be worth 200. Okay. So this is drawing. So took out cash. So it means that we have decreased in cash because the owner took cash. 200,000 and also decrease, decrease of owner's equity. Okay. Because uh, owner took uh, that cash to uh, not for business use but for his daughter. Okay. For his personal use. So, if they took the cash, it means that it will reduce the amount of owner equity. Okay, understand now? Alright. Okay, next. Ada lagi soalan? Tak ada. Okay, so let's look at the next uh, topic sharing So let's look at the presentation plot. Okay, boleh nampak ke? Saya dah tukar slide lain. Okay. Eh, sudah, sudah. Ini saya tukar lain pula sekejap. Saya nak tukar. Oh, Where is my slide? Where is it? My God. Again, what is the little red that I've been doing? Mm. 
Hmm, sekejap, sekejap saya ha? cari slide ni. Okay. Alright, so let's look at the we we continue our chapter three regarding Extension of uh, Boleh nampak ke? Apa yang saya share? Okay So kita tengok pula kepada Kita dah settle Equation regarding SOFT Statement of financial position And after that we must know Uh, statement of profit or, or loss okay the, what is statement of profit or loss okay it shows the financial performance of a business during a period okay so financial performance okay sejauh mana syarikat tu uh, keuangan syarikat tu okay so kita akan measure mengikut kepada kita akan nilai By the profit earned or lost in tax during that period. So, sama ada business kamu tu akan dapat uh, profit ataupun loss. Okay. So, this is the element of SOPL. Okay. Dekat sebelah ni ada format for Segment of profit and loss. Okay. Uh, uh, the first one, we must uh, put revenue. So, what is that revenue is gross sales. And then after that, we must less with sales return or allowance if in the question ada. Okay. So, and then we will derive the net sale. After that, we must find out what is cost of goods sold so what is the format for cost of goods sold first thing we must put purchases and then last is delivery charges and then uh, we got the gross sale profit or loss and then after that we must uh, Minus with all expenses incurred in our business. Then, if we have other income, we must add on with that income. After that, we will get the final um, the final amount is net income or prof net profit. Okay. Ada juga case kita akan dapat net loss. Okay, kalau nak lebih clear, so jom kita tengok format 
okay, vertical format for statement of profit and loss. Okay, so first thing we must put the sale. Okay, and then we got next sale. Last week cost of sale. So okay, how to get cost of sale? Opening inventory must plus purchase. Okay. And then if we have purchases written, we must let. Okay. And then add on carriage inward. Okay, duty on purchase. Insurance on purchase. So this is item or item regarding the cost that incurred when we buy when we buy our stock for example carriage inward okay, duty on purchase insurance on purchase so after that we will get cost of goods available for sale and then less closing inventory amount but then after we get our cost of goods sold we must minus the sale net sale then we will get the amount of gross profit. So that we must add on with revenues. Okay. Revenues that is not from that operation. For example, discount receive. Okay, we get discount receive from our supplier. Okay. And then when we see, for example, when we have um, buildings that we rented to other outsiders, and then we get the rent. And then commission receipt, and also interest receipt. This is all the example of revenue system. Yeah, boleh. Boleh class? Kita tengok format dia. Okay, after that, we must less. Okay, minus with operating expenses or expenses. Okay, perbelanjaan. Kita kena tolakkan. Okay, what is the example of uh, perbelanjaan expenses kita? Contoh, okay, in our business, we have salaries and wages. We must... We must pay for their, uh, our worker salary, for example. Okay, that is our example. And then, for example, we have to an insurance every month. Okay, our business must pay that insurance. So, it's also an expense. After that, if we have costs uh, or expenses in printing and stationery, okay, and then rent expenses, discount allowed, interest expense, repairs expense, and credit outwards. Okay, this is all item under expenses. Okay, after that, after we get all the expenses, we must, we must minus it gross profit plus. We have gross profit and then plus with the revenue. So that the amount we must minus with the expenses and then we get the net profit. Right? Net profit or uh, you will get net loss. And okay? that is the format for statement of profit and loss. Okay, so what we must know in at uh, SOPL is first thing is it's revenues. Okay. What is revenue? Revenues is income generated by the business either from trading or normal operating activities. Okay. Something that we earn. Okay. Income is that something money that we earn or money that we get from the business itself. For example, what is the revenue for KFC restaurant? Okay, sold of chicken. Ha, for example, like that. Okay, sales of 
uh, chicken sales of the food that is the revenue for KFC. Okay, do you understand the revenue? Uh, sales of goods. Okay, first is such as sales of goods. Okay, if the business that we render is or uh, on services, okay, we get the fees. Fees from that cushion fees. It means that the fees is our revenue. Okay. For example, if you are a tutor or a teacher, alright. So, what is the revenue for that business? Rendering of service, right? So, the sales is our revenue. This fees from the cushion. Okay. So next, it also uh, have revenue from the use of the business assets by others. For example, rental income. Okay, your business have another building. For example, another shop building. Then you rent that shop building to outsiders or to other business. So you will get rental income. Okay. And then, for example, interest income, cash deposit in a bank. So, it offers a revenue to your business. Okay. And then, dividend income. If your business uh, have an investment in some shares, so you will get dividend. So, it's all the revenue earned by your business. Okay. So, that is revenue. But for expenses, so what is it? Expenses is cost incurred in the normal cost of business to generate generate revenues. Okay. So cost it means that money that you pay. Okay, the money that you pay to to have some revenues. Okay. So what is expenses? The first is cost of sale. For example, purchases of stock. Okay, purchase of stock. Okay, if your business buy um, buy what groceries? For example, you open. Uh, what is it? Mini market. Okay, business mini market. Okay, you purchase all of your all of your stock. That is cost. Cost of sale. Okay, for example, insurance, transportation cost. Okay. Okay. What is transportation cost? Other name for transportation cost is carriage in it. So you the cost that you incur when bring the good to the business unit. Okay. So that is called expenses. Okay. What else? Expenses selling and distribution. Okay. For example, sales salesman salaries and commission. It's regarding for example if you open business uh buying your buying clothes or you sell clothes for example clothes or uh what else your staff okay so your business must have sales girls or salesmen okay that uh that salary is regarding expenses okay Different salary time commission. What else? Okay, administrative expenses. For example, okay, electricity and water and rental expenses. What else? Finance costs such as interest on loan. 
Siapa yang you kena tahu expenses ni apa perbelanjaan yang kita keluarkan ha? Okay Yang kita bayar dengan duit in order uh, To perform our business activity ha? Itu yang dinamakan expenses Okay so kita dah, dah belajar Accounting equation Okay basic accounting equation Kita dah done And then we go to the extended Extended accounting equation. So, you must know when we extend the accounting equation from an element asset, owners and liability, we will have another element such as rolling expenses. Uh, okay, owners equity we put as a capital. Okay, and then additional with revenues and liability so as said drawing and expenses we will put in one group okay and then for capital revenue and liability we put in another group okay so in simple word, you must understand and you must remember this extended accounting equation refer to A, D, E is equal to C, R, L. Okay. Ni, accounting, extended accounting equation ni daripada, daripada A is equal to O, E plus L Dia akan jadi kepada Kita, kita expandkan dia Dia akan jadi A, D, E is equal to C, R, L Okay We put another element That is drawing and expenses And also revenue Right? Nah? That is extended accounting equation so you must remember in your mind ADE CRL. Sebab apa saya kata ini penting untuk kita hafal so next chapter. Next week saya akan kita akan belajar pula double entry. So what is double entry? So next week kita akan tahu apa dia. So sangat penting untuk you tahu persamaan ADE is equal to CRL. Okay. ADE is one group. CRL is one group. Kenapa kita group-groupkan dia? Sebab kita nak buat double entry after this. Okay. Except dia ada sama group dengan drawing dan expenses. Okay. Capital, revenue dan liability dekat group yang lagi satu sebelah. Okay. So, accounting equation yang ni kita dah belajar. Asset is equal to liability plus equity. Okay, ni tu benda yang kita dah belajar ni. Kalau plus. Okay. Asset dia pun sama. Kita dah belajar. Oh, tak ada pula extended kat sini. Ya? Okay, so. Daripada. Extended tadi, okay, you boleh nampak apa beza dia. Dah ada perkataan drawing expenses dan juga revenue. Okay, so expenses kamu dah tahu. Dia adalah perbelanja, perbelanjaan. Revenue pula adalah ha? Okay. So revenue, dia bersama-sama dengan group capital dan liability. Kalau asset pula dia akan bersama dengan group expenses dan juga drawing. Okay, boleh faham tak expenses dengan revenue ni? Ada soalan? Boleh ke? Okay. What is revenue? Kita tanya pula. Ke kita dah belajar semua? Eh, last, last class kita dah belajar eh, revenue dengan expenses. Okay. 
Okay, so dekat mana revenue and expense itu ada dekat dalam format kita. Format uh, then uh, statement of profit and loss. Okay. Revenue yang uh, utama iaitu sales. Okay, sales. Itu kita akan letak dekat bahagian first. Apa-apa kalau kita nak mula buat SOPL, kena tekan uh, statement of profit and loss. Okay. You must have item sale. Kita letak paling atas sekali. Okay. After that, kita tolak dengan sales system. Okay. And then, kita ada cost of sale. And then, kita ada uh, revenue. Jadi, kita revenue. Then, you must, uh, you must know okay. this is expensive. Okay. So, Secara detail, kita nak belajar SOPL ni nanti. After kita dah cover step by step, double entry, ledger, trial balance, barulah last kali you kena tahu nak kena nak tahu kena buat apa. Statement of profit and loss. Okay. So, after, for the basic, you just know what is sales, what is expenses, okay, element in the SOPL, okay, revenue, okay. So, dekat mana revenue dengan expenses tu dia ada? Dekat dalam, ex, apa, extension of, extended of accounting equation. Nah, you kena faham betul-betul, okay. Asset. Plus with drawing, plus with expenses. Then, capital plus with revenues, plus liability. Okay. Don't forget this expanded accounting equation. Okay, let's look at the tutorial yang kita tinggalkan tadi tu. Tutorial number three. Okay, specify the the effect upon asset, liabilities, and capital for the following transaction. Okay. Okay, make credit sales of four thousand to Jangan Ruby Credit. So. What is the answer? So let's look at ex extended accounting equation. So what is the extended accounting equation? Asset plus, plus what plus? Asset plus. Drawing plus with like expenses. It's equal to someone plus give me the what is what is it? Asset plus Drawing plus EPT is equal to capital plus plus what revenue plus with yes liability. So kita ah uh, kita dijual barang secara hutang kepada jangan rugi kredit kredit sale. Four thousand to jangan review trading. So what is the effect to asset? Is there any effect to the asset? No. Drawing? No. Expenses? No. Capital? No. Revenue? Is it? Credit sale. Okay. If we, if you find out 
still it will get red revenue right our revenue is increased increase in sales revenue okay okay on credit jangan rugi credit so apa dia jangan rugi credit liability ke uh, asset make credit sale of 4,000 to jangan rugi trading uh, asset ke liability jangan rugi trading ni siapa ok owner make credit sale ok this is owner Okay, dia jual tu jangan rugi. On credit, okay. Aku maksud on credit. Adakah jangan rugi akan bagi duit? Terus, yes. Very good. Jangan rugi is owing to the owner. Okay, so bagaimana jangan rugi tu siapa terhadap owner? Siapa jangan rugi? Yes, customer. Yes, that's right, customer. So, apa nama spesifik dia? Ha, cepat. Account. Yes, very good. So, jangan rugi is our account receivable. Dia berbelit-belit sikit kan? Ha. So, bermakna account receivable kita tu asset ke liability? Asset. So, our asset account receivable is also increase. Okay, that is the answer. Increase in sales revenue, increase in account receivable asset. Saya nak buat jawapan dulu dah. Sekejap, sekejap. Saya nak uh, create satu satu page. Tak ada muat, tak muat tepat Tak ya. Ay, hilang. Tak malah. Okay, so let's look at okay. question 3. After that, okay, question 3, number 2. Borrow uh, 22,000 from public bank. What's that? Let's check number 2. Borrow 22,000 from bank. So what is the effect? Saya buat kotak ni. Asset. Oh. 
lagi drawing after drawing apa extensor so that is equal to apa la uh, capital Ah, uh, betul. Okay, kalau kita pinjam dua puluh dua ribu dari bank, so apa effect dia? But someone who wants to try and to be shaming, to be trying shaming. What is your plan? That will be. Nah, tak boleh. Okay. Kita pinjam daripada bank. So, O. Oh. Okay. So, you tengok kat sini. Owner. Okay. Borrow. Ataupun O. Oh. To the bank. And then bank will give what? Bank akan bagi apa? Kita pinjam duit kan? So bank akan bagi cash. So bagaimana aset apa yang bertambah? Aset cash bertambah. Apa lagi? Kalau kita pinjam dengan orang luar outsiders, so kita pinjam. Okay, tengok. Tengok dia punya error. Error. Error dia menghala ke bank. So, mana? Bank ni adalah account siapa? Account apa? Ha, account payable. Ataupun kita punya liable. Ha, liability. So, liability kita ber, bertambah. Bertambah. Boleh tak, Syamin? Faham ke tidak, Syamin? Oh, Syamin. Boleh ke? Syamin, tak dengar lah suara awak. Next. Soalan nombor tiga. So, soalan dia. Bought goods on credit from Chang for seven four. Bought goods on credit. Okay. Okay, what only one? Kita beli barang dari Chang. Okay, Chang. So, apa jawapan dia? Kalau kita beli secara hutang dari Chang. Apa impact dia? Kepada asset, drawing, expenses, capital, revenue. Ah. Right. On asset apa tu? Goods. Okay, lagi satu. Okay. 
Yes, very good. Liability kita increase. Okay, account payable. Sebab kita berhutang. Okay, account payable nama dia check. Okay, macam tu tau. Kita nak buat. Okay, maksud dia. Effect of the transaction. Apa effect dia? Of the transaction to the accounting equation. Okay. Panjang kadang kita tak ada. Okay. Nombor empat pula. Okay, so goods to Mira trading past something and she paid by check. Okay, Mira, Mira trading. Siapa yang jual? Owner. Owner, so goods to Mira on cash. Ataupun terus bayar, okay, on, on check. Okay. So, apa effect dia? So good to Mira. Okay, so good to Mira by check. Okay, siapa nak jawab? Ha, cuba Siti Anissa. Okay, bank increase. Increase. Siapa yang sold? Betul lah. Sold, bank increase. Betul lah kan? Pandai. Okay, bank increase. Asset. Lagi? Lagi apa? Okay, kalau dekat in terms of uh, sold, ada perkataan sold, okay. So, ni maknanya kita ju, jual, kan. So, kalau jual, dia berkaitan dengan selain daripada stock, yang kita ada dekat sini, apa dia? Elemen apa? Ha, elemen apa ni, kelas? Rest. Ha, so, revenue kita. So, bila kita jual, so maknanya jualan kita meningkat. Okay, jualan hasil kita. So, revenue lah. So, increase in revenue. Okay, boleh? Increase in bank. Sebab apa increase in bank? Sebab Mira tu Bayar kita terus. Kita jual barang and then Mira terus bayar duit dekat kita. Siapa nak masuk Fah? Hello Fahmi. Welcome. What's going on? Bangun lambat ke? Apa lah Fahmi ni? Kita dah belajar extend, apa, extended accounting equation dah. Okay, kita tengah buat tutorial. Okay, tutorial nombor tiga. Kita tengah discuss. Okay, kalau ada soalan boleh tanya. Eh? Okay, nombor lima. Indah Enterprise bought goods on 1,200 on credit basis. Okay, so Indah ni, Indah Enterprise ni orang outsiders. Dia beli pada kita barang 1,200 on credit 
BC. So bermakna apa yang impact dia? Kita anggap indah berhad beli barang dengan kita. Kita bisnes. So indah berhad beli. Secara hutang ke secara cash tu? Hutang on credit. Okay, so apa effect dia? Okay. Effect dia, okay, kita bila uh, indah beli pada kita, bermakna kita menju, owner tu menjual ke membeli? Sold ke beli? Wow. Ha, cepat. Sold, so, okay. Indah, kita jual barang. So, so kalau so, dia akan berkaitan dengan sales kita. So, kalau sales, so bermakna revenue kita increase. Okay, in terms of sales. Okay. So, lagi satu. Apa dia? On credit. Apa yang bertambah? Asset. Kenapa asset? Sebab? Okay, kita dah ada revenue sales tu. So, sales kita increase. So, lagi satu apa? On credit. Apa maksud on credit? Hutang. So, increase in echok. <laughs> But on credit memang hutang. Okay, so increase in our asset or liability. Saya pengelir juga. Asset ke liability yang bertambah? Ha, cepat. Dia kelirukan awak ni. Saya pun dah sendiri. Liability. Salah. Okay, saya buat gambar. Ni owner kan? Owner. Okay. Jual. Betul. Tu indah berhad. So, lepas tu indah ni akan hutang kan, betul tak? Owing to owner. Ha. So, kalau indah ini owing, so indah siapa? Yes, that's right. Very good. Siapa tu? Siapa tu saya? Oh Nelly, cakap lagi ni. <laughs> okay, account receivable. So, asset kita, asset account receivable kita bertambah. Boleh tak? Faham tak orang-orang uh, orang apa tu boleh? Orang lidi saya ni. Boleh faham? Faham ni? Okay tak? Alright. Ha? Sekolah. Sekolah semua tu macam mana? Ah, inventory. Boleh juga. Inventory bertambah ke berkurang? Ha, ah, berkurang. Ha ah, ah. Betul tu. Okay. Next. Kepada dulu. Nanti tak muat tempat. Next. Soalan yang ke. Banyaknya lagi. Now. Purchase additional stock. Purchase additional stock. Stock from has enterprise at cost of 700 cash. Okay, so, apa jawapan dia? Ada kena-kena. 
purchase stock on cash 700 siapa nak try purchase stock on cash kenal je kan so apa effect dia pangin Faham. Apa jawapan? Ini kecil nombor enam. Additional stock from pet enterprise at cost of seven hundred cash. Oh, yang atas tu eh. Okay, asset. Drawing yang expensive. Is equal to capital revenue liability. Ini adalah extend, extended accounting equation. Revenue. Kita beli, beli. Beli stock. Purchase stock. Purchase additional stock from has enterprise cash on cash. So, apa effect ni? Ha, tak boleh. Kita beli dengan, beli apa ni? Faham ni? Ah, barang yang kita nak jual. So, barang yang kita nak jual tu apa? Asset kita kan? Ha, asset stock kita bertambah. Okey, lagi satu. Apa dia yang, yang impact? Kita beli dengan apa ni? Cash. Asset kita yang lagi satu adalah cash. Cash kita berkurang. Okay. Boleh? Boleh faham ni? Ah, ya? Ha, tanya lah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, yang tadi eh. Inventory kita tu eh. Uh -uh. Sebab Macam mana dia ada Nanti uh, Awak akan uh, ada Untuk Kalau untuk beli Barang ni dia ada dua tau Barang yang kita purchase Purchase dengan barang uh, uh, yang kita uh, stock kita. Stock kita ni biasanya asset. Asset yang biasanya dekat asset tu hanyalah asset yang inventory akhir. Yang kita simpan. Okay. So stock inventory. Kalau awak tengok dekat dalam format ni. Kita ada amount yang kita purchase, amount barang yang kita purchase, beli barang untuk kita jual. Okay. Lagi satu kita ada asset, kalau awak tengok dekat dalam, 
statement of financial position kita kita ada closing inventory so asset yang masuk ni okey adalah uh, yang current asset lah closing inventory okey inventory kita beli tu kita belum lagi jual tu asset kita so kalau uh, kalau dia kita jual barang tu dia ada dia kira macam kita jual barang yang kita dah purchase okey yang adalah dekat dalam kita punya uh, SOFT ni. Kita punya cost. Cost of sale. Ha ni. Cost of sale ni kita macam uh, kita punya perbelanjaan. Dia ada beza. Okay. Perbelanjaan. Inventory yang dekat dalam cost of sale. Dan lagi satu dia punya kita punya dekat asset hanyalah yang closing dia. Closing inventory. Ha, dekat situ dia ada beza lah. Okay. Current asset, closing inventory yang ada dekat dalam SOFP bahagian asset. Boleh? Okay. Next, kita tengok pula nombor tujuh. Nombor tujuh, return damage good. Okay, ni tak payahlah. Nah, ni nanti awak cover untuk soalan. Kita ada, kita buat journal. Uh, journal baru kita, kita tengok pada written damage group. Okay. Nanti after this kita akan belajar journal. Lepas kita buat double entry. Kita tahu kita ada journal. Kita buat journal. Nah, baru kita akan uh, record untuk yang written damage group. Ni pun sama. Nombor 8, Indah Enterprise, Return Damage Code ni sama. Okay. Okay, so nombor 9. Kita tengok nombor 9. The owner took goods worth 30 ringgit for his own use. Okay. So kita tengok nombor 9. Okay, owner took goods. So, owner took goods, apa effect dia? Siapa nak jawab? Okay. Took goods on, sekejap. Okay, jadi, owner took goods on use. For... Okay. So tadi apa? Okay, goods kita asset dah berkurang. Okay, another one is what? Capital. Okay, kalau yang sebelum ni, kita ada kat sini owner's equity. Okay. Owner's equity, right? Tapi, yang ini khusus untuk capital. Sebab apa? Drawing ni, dia dah, dia dah jadi group lain dah. Nampak tak? Ada tak dekat drawing? Dekat sebelah asset. Boleh nampak tak? Class. Drawing tu dah ada dekat group lain kan? So, bermakna So, increase in uh, Not decrease is uh, Decrease on owner's equity But then Increase in our Ni, nampak ni Draw Drawing ya kelas So, bermakna kita akan Increase in Drawing dia Okay, sebab drawing tu Kita dah separatekan Dekat dalam Uh, extended uh, accounting equation kita ok, kalau sebelum ni kalau kat sini honest equity ok, maknanya dalam honest equity ni dah ada capital kan lepas tu dah ada net profit ok, tambah dengan net profit ok After that, kita tolak dengan drawing. 
Okey. Barulah kita akan dapat honors equity. Tapi sekarang ni kita dekat extended account equation kita hanya fokus untuk amount capital sahaja. Kat sini. Okey. So kalau ada drawing tu bermakna drawing ni types of expenses lah yang kita kena record dekat sebelah asset ni. Drawing. So bila mana boss or owner tu ada ambil barang ataupun ada ambil uh, cash so kita kena record kat sini sebagai drawing kita dah bertambah. Ha macam tu. Okay class. Okay. Drawing kita bertambah. Bertambah. Okay ha. Nombor sembilan tu. Okey ke? Boleh ke? Respon sikit. Ya, macam ada orang lain. Ya. Apa dia? Apa dia? Nelly, tak dengar. Nelly tak dengar suara awak. Oh, ya ke? Mesti lain saya. Alamak, ya ke? Okey, sekarang dah okey. Patutlah korang diam je. Sekarang okey ke? Suara? Dengar ke? Pecah. Okey, so maknanya kalau owner to book from his own use, so maknanya books kita reduce and then drawing kita increase. Boleh? Increase in drawing. Boleh? Ya? Bukan tak ni saya? <laughs> Lain tak okey tu. My God. Hello. Sudah dengar ke suara saya? Hello class. Ah, dengar. Okay, drawing saya kurang faham. Okay, drawing ni. Okay, so mana nak cakap? Dia uh, bila kita dah masuk dekat extended. Okay. So extended uh, accounting equation. Drawing ni akan berada dekat Uh, sebelah group asset tadi. Asset dan expenses. Okay. So bermakna drawing ni akan uh, di, kita akan record sebagai bertambah bila mana ada owner ataupun sesebuah uh, bos untuk uh, sebuah syarikat tu dia ambil barang syarikat ataupun dia ambil duit syarikat untuk kegunaan peribadi dia. Okay. So sebenarnya ikutkan tak boleh kan. Ikutkan konsep NPT walaupun nak ambil boleh tetapi kena record. So apa yang uh, step so kita nak record dia adalah sebagai drawing. Okay. So drawing ni nanti kita akan record ni sebagai bertambah lah. Okay. So bermakna kita nak nak dapatkan honest equity yang sebenar amount equity awak, bos punya duit, hak duit syarikat yang berapa amount yang dia punya sahaja. 
So you kena tolak dengan drawing nanti. Kalau drawing tu ada 700 contoh lah kan. So dekat sini nanti drawing awak ni bertambah daripada sebelum ni tak ada drawing jadi ada bertambah sebanyak 700. So that's why lah bila dekat extended account description kita ada uh, buat uh, apa kolom untuk drawing so untuk kita tahu ada tak owner buat drawing? Berapa banyak owner ada buat drawing? Ataupun ada ambilan. Okay. So ambilan ni nanti yang mengurangkan owner's equity. Sebab itulah, sebab apa dia mengurangkan? So drawing ni akan kita tolakkan. Amal yang kita dah buat drawing tadi kan kita tolak daripada kita nak dapatkan amal capital akhir. Ataupun owner's equity. Okay. Itu maksud drawing. So kalau kita ada Contoh awak, um, uh, awak bos kan? So awak nak ambil barang, awak nak ambil uh, duit syarikat untuk kegunaan sendiri. So awak kena record dekat bahagian drawing ni. Dekat dalam accounting memang kena ada. Ada elemen drawing di mana kalau awak ada ambil duit syarikat, kena record dekat kolom drawing. Okay, boleh faham? Meli? Boleh? Alright. So ada soalan lagi tak? So next class nanti kita baru sambung untuk chapter bubble entry. So saya harap awak boleh faham lah efek. Okay. Yang nombor empat tadi kita dah discuss kan? Dah kan? Sikit okay. soalan dia. Okay so uh, saya, ok untuk chapter uh, account situation dah sampai sini saja. Ada lagi tak? So next week baru kita sambung chapter double entry. So nak sambung sekarang double entry. Kita ada masa lagi ni. Dah rasa tepu ke boleh sambung lagi untuk next chapter? Ke nak buat exercise? Saya akan cari exercise untuk bagi dekat awak. Which one that you prefer? Ha. <laughs> so, dah ada exercise terus. Okay. Tapi kesian dekat siapa tu nama dia? Uh, si Fahmi tu. Baru je masuk. Buk minit. Dah nak habis. Fahmi okey ke? Okey apa? Okey sambung ke? Oh okey. Buat exercise. Tengok apa? Uh, okay, Ar ada saya record. So, uh, awak ada, awak kena tengok balik semula. Ha ni, apa yang kata extended tu. Extended account equation tu awak tengok balik eh. Kita ada masukkan dekat revenue expenses dengan drawing. So, macam mana dia boleh jadi macam uh, tu. Okay, so tengok eh, account equation saya tunjuk dia punya macam mana dia berkembang. Okay, macam mana daripada uh, asset is equal to uh, owner's equity plus dengan liability. Macam mana dia boleh jadi berkembang. Okay, mana benda tu. Okay, boleh nampak tak yang saya share? Boleh nampak? Jelas tak? Ni, nampak tak? Okay. So, dia kata asset is equal to owner's equity okay okay owner's equity plus profit uh, plus liability minus drawing betul tak sebab apa kita nak cari owner's equity kita kena kita tambahkan dengan profit ingat tak awal-awal kelas saya ada ajar kita tolak dengan drawing 
Okay. Lepas tu, yang liabilities ni memang ada. Kat belakang sekali kan. So, lepas tu, dia akan jadi asset is equal to honest equity plus revenue. Okay, macam mana kita nak cari profit pula? Ha, dia berkembang. Nak cari profit, okay, revenue, tolak, expenses, okay. Ha, baru dapat uh, profit. So, kita expand benda tu. Jadilah, honest equity plus revenue minus expenses, okay, minus. Ha, ingat eh, drawing tadi kita minus kan? Minus drawing. Plus liability. Okey, lepas tu kan ada persamaan dia ada tambah dan tolak. So, kita kena groupkan dia. Okey, apa yang dekat sebelah kanan ni ada tolak ni kan? Tolak expenses dan tolak drawing. So, kita nak groupkan dia. Order security dengan revenue sebab dia tambah. Tambah lagi satu apa? Liability. And then kita transfer. Transferkan expenses kita dan transferkan drawing kita ni dekat sebelah kiri asset. So dia akan jadi tambah. Okay. Asset plus expenses plus drawing is equal to owner's equity plus revenue plus liability. Okay, itulah dia extend, extended account to equation. Okay, so tengok ni eh. Saya terangkan lagi sekali. So, asset pada permulaannya persamaan for external asset is equal to EQT plus senangan liability. Okay, ini yang utama. Okay, account to equation kita. Lepas tu kita extendkan dia. Dia jadi asset is equal to equity plus profit plus liability. Mula-mula. And then kita extend lagi asset is equal to equity ok tambah dengan profit ni macam mana nak cari revenue profit ni macam mana nak cari revenue kita tolak expense ok, okay. lepas tu equity ni kita ada tolak dengan liability ni daripada equity ni kita ada tolak dengan uh, drawing campur dengan liability. Okay. Mana, mana yang datang perkataan drawing ni adalah daripada okay, equity. Kita nak dapat equity kena capital campur dengan profit. Ha, daripada sini lah. Tolak liability. Eh, tolak liability. Tolak drawing. Okay, ha, nampak tolak. Okay. So, profit kita expandkan dia jadi revenue tolak expenses. Okay. Equity pula adanya tolak drawing ni kita jangan tinggal. Kita jangan tinggal dia. Kita tolak drawing. Lepas tu tambah dengan liability. Okay. So dekat sini ada tambah, ada tolak, ada tolak, ada tambah. So bercampur bau. So kita groupkan dia. Okay. Yang tolak, tolak ni. Yang ni dua ni. Kita transfer ke sebelah. So dalam F dalam matematik pun bila kita transfer ke sebelah kiri so dia akan jadi tam, tambah ok daripada tolak ni jadi tambah ok 
Set dan color ditambah dengan green. Tambah dengan texture. Okay, yang tinggal dekat sebelah kanan ni ada apa? ACT atau Concave Filter sebab kita dah expand dia eh. Activity ni kita dah jadi expandkan Concave profit dengan drawing. Kita dah pecah-pecah kan. Tercampur dengan apa yang tinggal? Revenue. Okay, campur apa lagi yang dah? Liability. So inilah yang kita panggil extended kita besarkan lagi ataupun kita uh, kembangkan lagi ha kembangkan lagi equation kita menjadi asset drawing plus expansion is equal to capital plus revenue plus liability okey boleh Mereka yang lain? Give me respond. Ada soalan? Last. Boleh ke? Fahmi boleh ke? Syamin boleh? Siti Anita boleh? Okay. So basic ni. Benda basic ni kena faham betul-betul. Okay. Kena faham betul-betul supaya bila nak kita nak buat uh, step yang lain, step yang lebih mencabar, so you boleh uh, boleh buat. So okay. yang uh, atas ni fahamkan dulu betul-betul. Lagi yang ada dekat dalam ni. Jom kita tengok sekejap. Tengok dekat slide ni. Set one of us to end off. Which is just to end off extended account to institution. Okay. Ha. Cuba tengok dekat sini. Okay. So, uh, boleh nampak eh? Saya harap jelas eh? So, tengok yang ni. Asset, dia ni dah, eh, dah extend eh? Asset, expenses, liability, equity dengan revenue. So, kalau Amin invest 100,000 into business bank. So, kita akan increase in bank 100,000. So, bila invest bermakna equity ataupun capital kita ni akan bertambah. Okay, dekat bawah amount equity. Capital kita bertambah 100,000. Okay, kalau isu 10,000 check for employee salary pula. Okay, kita belum, saya belum bagi exercise kalau ada expenses ke mana. So, nanti kejap. Nanti, sekejap lagi saya bagi latihan yang berkaitan dengan expenses kalau dia ada. Isu 10,000 10, check for employee salary. Maksudnya kita nak bayar uh, salary okay, untuk uh, gaji pekerja kita. So, bank kita decrease. Okay. Tolak tu maksudnya berkurang RM10,000. And then expenses kita tambah salary sebanyak RM10,000. Okay. And then isu 15,000 to suppliers for purchase goods. So, kita kita beli RM15,000 so asset bank kita berkurang and then expenses kita bertambah. Okay. So, isu set RM15,000 to suppliers for purchase kit. Okay, tadi saya ada kata stock kat sini kan. Ha, stock tu sebenarnya kita adalah purchase lah dekat expenses. Okay. So, same goes to sale 25,000. Sell 25,000 goods to customer on credit. So, increase our asset receivable. 
Okay, and then increase our scale. Alright. Sell 25,000 ringgit goods to customer on credit. Okay, kita uh, increase in our receivable. Okay, sebab kita kita jual secara hutang. So, customer itu adalah account receivable kepada kita. Okay. So, lagi satu apa yang bertambah? Sale kita. 25,000. Okay, boleh kelas? Ah, ni ada sekejap. Ada soalan tak? Sekejap eh, saya tengok dulu ni apa tu. Ah, ni semua benda yang yang saya discuss lah. So I will give you this uh, notes. Okay, supaya awak boleh tengok balik semula apa yang kita dah discuss and then fahamkan betul-betul. Okay. And then uh, dekat dalam uh, slide ni, chapter 3 ni, dia ada example ni kan. Razi uh, invest 50,000 cash into the business. Okay. Bought goods on credit. Bought shop. Ini. Okay, nantilah saya bagi soalan lain. Okay, nota ni awak boleh tengok awak dan boleh baca. Okay, nota ni saya ambil dekat you future. Dekat lecturer. Dekat lecturer in UITM. So, awak boleh tengok lah. Okay, sama je dengan apa yang kita discusskan. So, untuk enhance awak punya uh, enhance awak punya knowledge and then understanding. So, awak boleh tengok balik chapter uh, ni lah. Uh, notes yang saya nak bagi ni. Like. Okay. Boleh lah. Ada soalan sebelum kita habis? Hari ni kita habis awal. So saya akan bagi exercise. Nanti jangan lupa eh uh, awak kena klik dekat bahagian you future tu untuk saya punya attendance. Tahu kan macam mana nak buat? Hatika, tahu ke? Ready? Alright, okay. Dia selepas 15 minit kan? Habis kelas baru boleh. Jangan terlupa eh, ada yang, jangan ada yang terlupa. Untuk buat. Okay, so ada soalan belum sebelum kita habis. Sebelum saya bagi, kita buat latihan. So, masa yang ada ni, I hope you will do an exercise that I give to you. Okay, ada soalan? Ada soalan ke tidak? Tak ada eh. Syamin, Siti Anissa, ada soalan? Siti Anissa? Okay. Boleh faham semua Siti Anissa? Okay. So, kalau tak ada, Fahmi okey ke? Satu-satunya kumbang. Boleh eh? Lain kali jangan lambat lagi tau untuk kelas. Okey. So, kalau tak ada apa-apa, kita -apa, sampai sini dulu. So, nanti kalau ada apa-apa nak tanya ke, nak kontak boleh message WhatsApp saya secara personal pun boleh atau kena dalam group. Okay, so that's all class. Thank you so much. Okay, jangan lupa buat exercise. Saya tak pantau exercise awak tu. Ha, make sure awak buat lah. Okay, bye. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome.